ignore this GOP-led Congress and very little to show on any front, including their attempt to paint their own picture of January 6th. House Republicans setting their sights on a new target, Cassidy Hutchinson, the star witness of the January 6th Select Committee, whose incredible testimony shed light on the disgraced ex-president's actions or inaction on that day. The effort is being led by Republican Barry Loudermilk. You will remember him. He has faced scrutiny about his own actions around the 6th after being seen giving tours of the Capitol the day before the riot. Well, his office writing in a statement that they have sent Hutchinson a letter, quote, instructing her to preserve and produce all records and materials in her possession related to the events of January 6, 2021. Joining us now, former lead investigator for the January 6 Select Committee, Tim Hafey, and political national correspondent Betsy would respond. Tim, Loudermilk says they are going after Hutchinson, quote, for changing her story when cooperating with your committee as I understand it, that was a result of her changing lawyers. Is that correct? Yes, uh, Alicia. She told us that she did change her story, that when she initially met with uh, investigators from the select committee, she claimed not to recall a lot of things and that she held back some information that she later provided. She provided as well the explanation for those initial claimed failures to recall and hold back. And that was the advice of her then lawyer, who was paid for by the uh, Save America PAC, the, the leadership PAC controlled by the former president. So she came in with a new lawyer, a man named Jody Hunt, who was not paid for by the Trump um, apparatus. And she told us more than she had before. And she explained the reason why she had not shared with us. I, I, I'm having a hard time understanding what um, Representative Loudermilk is looking for, in, uh, other than reiterating that statement. Betsy, that's a great question, which is one, just tell me, to me, this seems like another fishing expedition on the part of the House GOP. If you see something I don't see, please tell me. But I'm also curious what you think the answer is to Tim's question, right? Is, is this just about bullying Cassidy Hutchinson, or is there actually something they are looking for? Bullying Cassidy Hutchinson and also sort of creating a sense of chaos and diversion instead of focusing on the actual facts of what happened on January 6th. No doubt there's there's a high risk of a self-own here for Republicans when it comes to trying to deeply excavate the reasons that Cassidy Hutchinson changed and augmented her initial testimony to the January 6th Select Committee. The backstory of the evolution of her testimony in some ways is, is almost as interesting and compelling as the testimony itself. Uh, and the lawyer, of course, who she changed to, Jody Hunt, is no resistance hero. He was a former Justice Department official during the Trump administration. He was chief of staff to then Attorney General Jeff Sessions. He's not some, you know, Democratic celebrity, but he was the person who helped guide Hutchinson through that dramatic pivot, that dramatic shift in the way she related to the January 6th Select Committee. What's going on here from the Republican perspective is a tacit acknowledgement that January 6th creates a political problem for the former president. Republicans are acutely aware that this is something that's going to be front and center for President Biden in his reelection campaign. He and his surrogates have made no secret whatsoever of the fact that they're going to be leaning hard on Trump's connection to that January 6th of violence as part of making the case against him being back in office. And there's a sentiment among Capitol Hill Republicans that they can't just ignore this political argument, but rather they have to try to find some way to engage, some way to look for rebuttals, some way to to try to push back and undermine the credibility of witnesses who testified to the January 6th committee. Of course, whether or not that project uh, will work is very much to be seen. But the fact that Republicans are amping up their work on this issue, on this topic, just highlights the fact that it's something that's a source of concern to the right. Well, Tim, let's talk about that source of concern. This is reporting from The New York Times in the weeks after Cassidy Hutchinson's public testimony. And they wrote, quote, the electrifying public testimony delivered to the House January 6th panel by Ms. Hutchinson, a former White House aide who was witness to many key moments, jolted top Justice Department officials into discussing the topic of Mr. Trump more directly. At times, in the presence of Attorney General Merrick Garland and Deputy Attorney General Lisa Monaco, 
in conversations at the department the day after Ms. Hutchinson's appearance, some of which included Ms. Monaco. Officials talked about the pressure that the testimony created to scrutinize Mr. Trump's potential criminal culpability and whether he intended to break the law. Ms. Hutchinson's disclosures seem to have opened a path to broaching the most sensitive topic of all. Mr. Trump's own actions ahead of the attack. I, I wonder, there, there's sort of 1-6 in the 1-6 committee. There, there's also what DOJ is doing. How much then, Tim, do you think that influences House Republicans? Yeah, hard to say what motivates the House Republicans. If I had to predict uh, what really the end game is here, it's to try to discredit Ms. Hutchinson. The, the argument is that she waived her attorney-client privilege in providing information to the committee about her discussions with her initial lawyer. They then may very well ask that lawyer, a man named Stefan Pacentino, for his recollection of his discussions with Ms. Hutchinson, and he may not agree with her or not corroborate her testimony because, of course, she says he coached her to lie. He may take the fifth and not answer questions because the truthful answer might subject him to scrutiny by the Department of Justice or others. So, so I guess it's speculating that's the end game. Uh, certainly, Ms. Hutchinson's testimony was so compelling and did, I believe, catch the attention of not just uh, the American audience, but the Department of Justice, because she had evidence very directly bearing upon the former president's state of mind uh, in the days before and on January 6th. So to the extent they can try to discredit her or call, call her question, her testimony into question, uh, I suppose they think there is some benefit to that. Although, again, Ms. Hutchinson has stood up repeatedly in front of a, a lot of scrutiny and been found largely credible. But, but